Hi, and welcome to Sharing Stories, Dyslexia Canada's podcast series for kids by kids. I'm Howard Green, and today our guest is, our very first guest actually, is Kate Ross. Kate, it's so nice uh, to speak with you again. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. I'm happy to be here too. <laughs> That's great. So uh, first of all, I mentioned your name. We know your name, but tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm in grade six and I live in Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, we're going to talk about books today and uh, specifically a particular book that uh, that you're reading. But first of all, what type of books do you like to read? I like to read, like, in, like, a genre perspective, I like to read fantasies. But I don't like fantasies about, like, talking animals and things like that. What kind of fantasies, then? Like, I like fan fantasies where it's, like, humans, kind of like Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yeah. And so uh, what kind of book, or what, or what particular book are you recommending today? The Unwanteds, which is a first book of a seven-book series. Okay, so so tell me a little bit about the book. Uh, well, it's about a little boy who grows up in a place called Quill, and when you turn thirteen, if you like, if you're artistic or you show any signs of like that you're like creative or anything like that, supposedly you're sent to go get executed. Ooh. My mom says it's gory. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom's right. <laughs> If you're unwanted, then you tend to get executed at a place called the Death Farm. But the Death Farm's like fake, and it's actually like a place of magic and things, and it's kind of like protected by a barrier, so nobody can really see it or get in. Um, and so Alex is the main character, and he wants to find his brother and bring his brother back to our time, which is the like magical place with him. But when he finds his brother, it, he kind of starts a war. Ooh. So when you say bring him back to a magical place, you mean take him away from that creepy part? Yeah. When at our time, which is the magical place, they go to school and they learn how to do magic and things. But in Quill, which is the dark and gloomy place, they kind of just learn how to write. Doesn't sound like a great place. Um, so so uh, why do you like it? Um, I liked it because it's like really interesting. And I find like at every like chapter, something cool would happen. And I found it easy. I read through half... Like, I read half the book and listened to the rest of it. And I found it was, like, easy to read. Like, it had a nice font. And the words were pretty simple. But I found the names hard of people. Like the you read it, the first half of it. But the second half, you listened to. Mm -hmm. Why did you go to the audio for the second half? Um, I can't. Like, I like audiobooks better than, like, reading them. And I kind of just wanted to test out the audiobook. Uh-huh. And yeah. so are you planning to go to the second one? Are you planning to make your way through the whole series? I would like to. I would like to read all seven. So how did you hear about this book or this series? Um, well, my sister had read the first and the second one, and she recommended that I read it. So I decided to give it a try. And uh, aside from this series, do you have any others that are picked out? I've read the first and second book of a series called Magic Misfits which I really liked. What um, was it about what was it about that one that that grabbed you? Really intriguing, but I liked how in between chapters they would show you how to do magic tricks and they would have like riddles and things for you to solve and I really liked that. Like I finished the Magic Misfits number 2 and Halfway through Magic Misfits number three, I found Unwanted, and I ended up liking Unwanted. So I'm not sure if I'm going to finish Magic Misfit or just keep going with Unwanted. That's okay. I got about four or five books on my bedside table, and I pick away at one, and then I move to another, and then I come back to the first one. Uh, are you enjoying reading more than you used to? Mm, not really. No? Mm. What's uh, making you feel that way about it? I feel like at the starting, when I first found out I had dyslexia, it was, I didn't like reading because like I was really slow at it and I didn't find, like my sister would read through books in a matter of weeks and I would take like months to finish, a, like I would take like a week to finish a small book, my sister would read chapter books. And I felt like I was just really slow and I didn't really find it fun because it took me so long. And just as time went on, um, I just never really ended up liking reading. The Magic Misfits book I listened to on audiobook, and I really liked the audiobooks for that one. 
Magic Misfits was written by written by Neil Patrick Harris, and he did the audiobooks too. They had changed up the words wording in it for the audiobook because at the very start of the book it has an introduction and it's like to the reader of this book but in the audiobook it said to the listener of this book so it was kind of changed up that way drew you in drew you into the book made it absorbing that's always what makes a great book it was great talking to you kate thanks so much for uh, for doing this with us today we really appreciate it you're welcome i had fun good me too that's kate ross <laughs> <laughs>